main event, which I know it's like early, but we might as well talk about it because it was also a Money in the Bank qualifier. This was the only men's one of the show, which was Finn Balor versus Rey Mysterio versus Jay Uso. You knew this was going to be a great match because of who was in it. And I think I might be in the minority here when I say that I am very disappointed that Jay Uso won. I know I'm in the minority. I don't even think I need no, to say you I don't think need, I am. You're so in the minority. You don't even know it. No, I do. I just said I was. So I, I was I know. quoting. I was. I was. Never mind. It, okay. Um. Okay. Yes. Um. I. I. Yeah. I was just disappointed in this because I feel like the second that they announced this, everybody knew who was going to win, which uh, was just disappointing because, like, I think with the women, you kind like we were just saying. I don't feel like there was an obvious winner there. Like you kind of felt like, okay, yeah, it's probably going to be Io, but there was that feeling that it could be Kiana and this match. It was like, yeah, it's Jay Uso, you know, like there were, you were just waiting for the inevitable. And that was just kind of sucky because I think that I get that Jay is super popular and people want to see him wrestle. But I feel like as far as storylines go, it makes so much more sense with Finn for him to have one, at least to be in the match. I don't know if he was going to win, but at least be in the Money in the Bank match, especially because we were shown that segment between him and Damien earlier in the night when they were discussing Finn being in the match and Damien feeling like he was probably going to win Mm -hmm. and saying, you know, if you win Money in the Bank, like, are we good? Are you not going to, you won't cash in on me, blah, blah, blah. So to me, that felt like it was setting it up. Like, oh, okay, maybe Finn has a chance. But then now, based off what we saw, we see Jay pin Finn, and then it's like, okay, so that segment was for nothing. Um, I, I think it's uh, it's it's just stirring the pot. It's just stirring it before we get something bigger. I think just like it's only a little bit of what this story is going to become because like, well, because when mommy comes back, that's when you're going to get the real repercussions and everything from it. So I right know, now, it's just it's really just. You know, slow cooking it. But the thing is, though, is Damien has. There's nothing for Rhea to be mad about with with Damien. So uh, yet. But so what I mean is, like, I could, I still want it because because I want to believe that Finn is trying to break up the Judgment Day from within. Because I do believe that it's him and Liv that are working together for this whole Dominic situation. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see Finn take it even further because right now it looks like he's just trying to do something to Dominic, like who he thinks is the weakest link in the group. Okay. He thinks it's Dominic Mysterio. That's fine. That's your theory? But why not? Well, I mean, I I think he's trying to do something, but I I feel like you're, if you're going to try to pick off the, the easiest person, it would be Dominic in the group. Like, out of out of the people in my opinion but why not go after the big fish which is damian priest why wouldn't you want to go after him so to me it may it would make sense for finn to want to win the money in the bank because it also is a full circle to win damian won money in the bank there was so much tension and drama that stemmed from that when they were tag team champions so it would be interesting to see the reverse where now damian's champion Finn now holds the money in the bank. So the tension's not going to be because they're tag team champions. It's going to be that he can cash in on you at any second because you are the champion. Like to me, that's so much more interesting than, oh yeah, I want the yeet guy to win. Like I just, I'm just not into it. I'm just not. Jay Jay is not into Finn Balor as money in the bank. And this is, yeah, that's fine. Jay doesn't not need it more than Finn, but okay. Finn is, Uh, in my opinion, Finn is one of the best wrestlers of all time. Jay is not. So uh, that is, it's, I would agree more there. Yeah. So, and I think that Finn is one of the best wrestlers of all time. I do not care. One of the best entertainers. If you don't believe me, then go watch his bullet club shit. Like, watch his runs in nxt that's the type of stuff that we need from finn balor that's the type of push that i've been begging for for finn balor because i feel like he never really got a proper main event run uh his title you know his universal title run was not great um so one day i think that uh No, I know. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't feel like he ever got a proper chance. And this would have at least elevated him because, again, as we were talked about, he feels like the forgotten member of Judgment Day. And I don't understand that. Who agrees with me? Um, The storyline could have been so good. I know. 
it's still possible because people have been talking about the potential of them having a last chance thing. But the thing is, is there's only no, three. I guess if they, the thing is, is there's only three from Raw and only three from SmackDown. So you're saying you're only going to have two qualifying matches and then have a last chance. Like to me, that just seems kind of silly. This feels like Finn's not in it. Well, it's like they add, well, remember they just added Logan Paul in l- last year? I know, but they're not going to do seven. I highly doubt seven? they're going to do seven. Been like eight before. I just, I don't see that happening. Okay. I just don't. 